Hey, listen. Say, I had a terrible night. Just terrible. I didn't sleep all night. I tossed and turned. I got to talk to you, say. When you come down from there for a second, I can't talk to you like that. It's like talking to God. <laughs> say, I had this dream, see? I had this terrible, terrible dream. I dreamed it was the day of my wedding. And I was in the church, see? And everybody was there. The whole place was full. Everybody I've ever known was there. Lillian was there. <laughs> I kept wondering who sent her an invitation. <laughs> walking up to the altar, you know, for the ceremony, and as I got to the altar, I looked up, and the priest turned out to be you in disguise. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you reached in, you pulled out a gun, and you said, die, young person, and you shot Jody. <laughs> well, I know how important dreams are. They can really mean something, and I'm worried, Faye. Faye, if you're that angry... Jack, it was your dream, not mine. But you shot Jody. Look, if it will make you feel any better, I have no intention of coming to your wedding. Judy will live. Judy, Judy. She'll live, too. But, Faye, you've got to come to the wedding. Jack, I don't want to come. But you're my best friend. Jack, I don't think... I really don't think that Jody would want me there. Oh, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. She knows how much my family means to me, and she's really very anxious to meet you. Well, that's very nice, Jack, but I'm going to pass. Now, Faye, wait a minute. Now, wait now. Just, just a minute now. We, we share a family. And you and I have had a, had a long history together, and now you and Jody are going to be co-mothers. <laughs> I think you ought to meet her. Well, I'm sure that we will. But how about Friday night? Friday you night? You want to have dinner together, huh? No, Jack, I can't. Why not? Uh, I have a date. Bring him along. We'll double. I, I don't think I can because what? we won't be here. Well, where are you going? Well, you know, we're not really going anywhere. I mean, we're going to be here uh -huh. in this city, uh -huh. but we won't. Uh, I mean, you know, he, he's got these horses. Oh. And, and, and they're running that day. Uh, in all nine races, actually. One and each. So, well, uh, well, so why don't you come, uh, come afterwards? Ah, uh, uh, afterwards. Yeah. Afterwards, we usually go to the cotillion. We're going to be at the cotillion, so we won't be able to join you for the dinner. I see. You know, Faye, I, I didn't know you were seeing somebody. Well, I didn't tell Elliot. <laughs> Well, I think it's terrific. Yeah. yeah, it's really terrific. I tell you what, you tell your jockey that... He is not a jockey. He owns the horses. He doesn't ride them. Well, like that's him. even better than Tom. I hope he wins and we'll make it Thursday night instead, huh? Yeah. Terrific. We'll go to Valentino's, okay? Right. I'll give you a call and tell you what time, all right? Lillian, I need your help. I need a date for Thursday night. It is not a simple thing, Lillian. I need someone sensational. Not that. Oh, absolutely sensational, Anthony. Oh, he says it's another secretariat. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, I would love to kill myself. I have to go back to work, Lorraine. Okay, goodbye. Hello, Faisy. <laughs> Still upset? Yeah. Oh, you have every reason to feel upset. Yeah. It's perfectly normal. I mean, there are the obvious comparisons. I mean, will he be prouder to take her out because she's much younger and prettier? And will your daughter get closer to her because they're the same age? Yeah. And will your grandchild like her better because she has the stamina to climb trees with me? <laughs> they, she has your husband, your home, your furniture, your children, your grandchild, and your friends. That's why you're upset. It is now. Glad I could help. <laughs> or no emergency. That is the last time I ever try to serve a subpoena. Next time, get yourself a process server. What happened, Letty? I nearly killed myself chasing this guy to the bus terminal. Then he slipped into the men's room. Letty, I have to serve the papers today. I'll get Manuel to do it. Don't bother. I served him. <laughs> you served him how? I did it, okay? But you said he, he, he went into the... Al, if you don't well, wait, 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 where did you get him, Letty? I just as soon as forget the entire experience. You, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> Come on, tell me about Al, what happened. Alison, I've got a lot Stop. more to tell me. Come Let's on, get out of Letty. Here. Al. <laughs> Did you really? You want to 
must be a surprise man. <laughs> Actually, four surprise men. <laughs> should have found out if one of them is free tonight. <laughs> no one yet? No, I have six hours left to find an attractive, intelligent man. I know people have been looking since they were 20. Oh, come on, Jay. You're just not thinking. Oh, forget it, Letty. I'm calling Jack and I'm canceling. I, I... To the end, dear? Oh, Mrs. Faber. Oh, he called from court to say he'll be a few minutes late. Why don't you have a seat? It should just be a few minutes. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, Faye, there has got to be a man in this city that will go out with you tonight. My husband. <laughs> he likes your type. Classy. Yeah. He'll go out with you in a minute, the bum. I'll give him a ring. <laughs> Maybe we'll hire a private eye and have him take pictures of the two of you. That'll help my case. I don't think that's such a good idea, Mrs. Faye. <laughs> you know, they get to 50, something possesses them. For 25 years, they're going along fine. Same clothes, same car, same wife. All of a sudden, bingo. They get a tan and a safari suit and come home saying they need surprises. <laughs> that is what he had the nerve to tell me. Mort Faber comes home and says, Bertie, there are no surprises anymore. Fine. He wants surprises? I'll hide in a closet and say boo. <laughs> I'm supposed to know what he means. I'm hello, supposed to... Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Mrs. Faber, hello. Sorry, I'm late. I, I was... Oh, no. Don't worry about it, darling. I was perfectly happy talking to these two lovely ladies. He wants surprises? We'll get a hitman from Chicago. That'll... <laughs> Honey, she's crazy. What? The two of you are doing the same thing. Letty! All I'm trying to do is get a date for tonight. Well, if both of you are trying to put your ex-husbands away, her with a gun, you with a stable. Listen, what is the whole point of tonight but to show up with someone so sensational looking that Jack will eat his heart out? You're right. You are absolutely right. I've been killing myself to go there looking great, and if I couldn't go that way, I wasn't going to go at all. That is so childish. I am not going to do that. What are you going to do? I don't need a date for tonight. I can go alone. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going, and I'm going alone. Ah, Mrs. Stewart, so good to see you again. Mm. And you're looking so beautiful. Thank you, Sierra. You and Mr. Stewart have not been in in so long. You were uh, away, yes? Uh, no, Piero, Mr. Stewart and I are divorced. Ah, yes, I thought that. I thought they are away, or oh, they are divorced. <laughs> you are... You are expecting someone. Yes. Ah, beautiful. You see, a lovely woman like yourself, she is whisked up right away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting Mr. Stewart. Ah, such a perfect couple, I always say. <laughs> The two of you, you'll get back together, eh? No, Piero, we're not. If I may, Mrs. Stewart, uh, I always say he looks a little too old for you. <laughs> uh, you care for a drink while you wait? Ah, uh, no, thank you. Very well. I'm losing my courage. Piero, uh, uh, a double. Ah, yes. A double what? Uh, the usual. Where's your... I Where's came you? alone. So did I. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so sorry that she couldn't make it. Um, I, I really would have liked to have met her. Would you really? A curiosity, I guess. Uh, well, there'll be another time. Oh, no. No, there won't be. No. It's over. I'm not going to marry her. What happened? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's just the point. <laughs> oh, maybe 20 minutes here and there, but, you know. You're not going to marry her? No. You really wanted to meet her, huh? Well, I didn't exactly want to meet her. I wanted to look at her. <laughs> you know, I guess I've been trying to recapture something you and I had a long time ago. I guess I'll just have to wait until the real thing comes along again, huh? <laughs> Where's your jockey? I made him up. 
You made up a jockey? Yeah, he wasn't a jockey. He was a stable owner. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, nine horses, uh, one every race. Uh, and then a after the race, you and he go to the, uh, what was that thing you went to? The, the kitchen. The kitchen. After <laughs> I love it. <laughs> What's the kitchen? <laughs> Sounded like something somebody who owned horses would go. <laughs> well, that's very impressive. I know. You know, I was afraid I was going to come here tonight alone and sit here and watch you and your horse. Ride. I thought I was going to have to watch you and the stewardess. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. What? It's nice that we're good enough friends that both of us could show up alone. You want to know something funny? Mm -hmm. The one thing that really upset me, the fact that you weren't upset about me getting married. I was. But you said you weren't? I lied. You mean you were upset? You were really upset? Jack, I was upset. I wasn't suicidal. Yeah. Well, were, were you sad? Yeah. A little sad. Okay, I was sad. Well, did you cry? Yeah, once. Oh, you cried. Oh. Why didn't you call me? Yeah. Oh, hey, you cried and you were upset. <laughs> How about that? I can still bring a tear. No. 